Well, watch out in Arizona. Make sure you don't have a sleeping donkey in your bathtub anytime after 7 p.m. This is a law made in 1924, after an incident that occurred during a flood. One merchant wasn't allowed his donkey to sleep in his bathtub. This was before they weren't attached to the floor and could easily be moved. When the town flooded on a fateful night, the sleeping donkey was carried away by the torrent. It sailed through the town and ended up in a valley one mile away. The donkey was stranded in the tub, floating helplessly. The town gathered and eventually saved the poor guy. But it took a lot of effort and resources during the rescue. They quickly made a new decree there will be no more donkeys sleeping in bathtubs. So there. Now in Samoa, if a husband forgets his wife's birthday, he can be reported to the authorities by his partner. After the first incident occurs, a formal warning is issued. It would not be expected that he would set enough reminders for the following year not to forget. But if he does disregard the date again, he must go through a series of intense interviews to determine why he could forget such an important date. Depending on the defense of his forgetfulness, he can even face serious consequences. Just wait till he gets home. Alright, going back to Arizona. Here, you need a special permit if you want a saguaro cactus removed from your property. Taking it away without authorization could find you behind bars for up to 3 years. These cacti can live up to 200 years, and the reason why such strict conservation efforts are in place is that it can only produce seeds at the age of 35. Ah, you find yourself along a beautiful beach in Italy, along the coastal town of Eraclea. And of course, you've brought a bucket. Just don't make any sandcastles with it. They've been declared a dangerous trip hazard along the beach. So on this beach, leave your bucket at home. Otherwise, you could face paying a fine of up to 250 bucks. When you're driving along the road or hiking through the woods in the USA, you might see a strange purple mark painted on a fence, pole, or even a tree. Throughout several states, these markers are advising not to trespass on private property. They're using the paint instead of the normal warning signs, as it's a cheaper alternative that lasts longer. It's been implemented at different times over the past decade in 15 states, and it's expected to continue to spread to others. So be sure to keep a sharp eye out for these markers. One day, the authorities of Singapore noticed that about $150,000 a year are spent to clean chewing gum. And it wasn't only under chairs and tables. They found it in critical areas on subway trains, which affected their sensors, causing delays. So, in 1992, gum was officially banned. The law has become more lenient toward tourists, with only small amounts allowed into the country. And dentists can also prescribe it to their patients for dental hygiene. There was also another issue in Singapore regarding cleanliness in public toilets. The authorities realized there were way too many messy public toilets throughout the country. This could no doubt put a stain on their reputation as one of the cleanest countries in the world. They enforced a monitoring system involving toilet agents. These guys monitor the toilets, making sure there are only clean ones. Business owners who fail to meet hygiene standards are reported. You're walking down a busy street in Thailand. You've dropped a money bill. The wind picks up and blows it away, and you chase it frantically. You get close enough to stop it, but make sure you don't use your foot. It's considered a great offense to step on the bill. Feet are considered low and dirty in Thailand. So you cannot step on the Thai money, since the bills have portraits of important people. No matter how great the value of your note is, don't tread on it. Otherwise, you'll find yourself locked up. Now, you speed your car along the Autobahn in Germany. It's one of the last places you can drive as fast as you like. But as you travel along, the fuel gauge shows the gas tank is empty. You pull over and stop. Not a big deal anywhere else, but here it's considered as an avoidable risk. You will have to pay a fine of $80 for not having the foresight to fill up when you had the chance. Further rules on the Autobahn include no parking, reversing, or even making a U-turn. Now back in the 40s, a pair of pickle packers were selling their wares in Connecticut. Their pickles weren't exactly edible, but they still tried to sell their out-of-date goods. 
they were soon caught, and a new law was put in place to avoid this problem in the future. The new requirement was made that, for a pickle to be sold, it would have to bounce. This was the best way to check if they were safe to eat at the time, as preservation methods advanced the law was forgotten, but it's still in place today. It's late night in New York City, and you quickly run to the store. There's no point putting your shoes on, too much effort for such a short trip. But as you cross the road, you're suddenly stopped by the police. You're confused because you did nothing wrong, but they quickly arrest you for the offense of wearing slippers past 10 p.m. This rule is in place as it's believed the smelly slippers attract rats and other vermin. Still, wearing your pajamas in public is fine. You're driving across the dry, sandy roads of Western Australia. You're hiding something suspicious inside your vehicle, hesitant as you go, hoping not to draw attention to yourself. Suddenly, you grow concerned as you're being pulled over by the Potato Marketing Authority. They search your vehicle and find that you're carrying more than 110 pounds of potatoes. This law was put in place in 1946 to protect commercial activities during a time of serious rationing. Although the law has since been removed, it wasn't until 2016. If you're planning a trip to the English House of Parliament, make sure you left your suit of armor at home. In the year 1313, it was declared that no one can enter fully knitted in their metal suits. It was made for safety reasons. It took a few years to take effect. At first, this new ruling was ignored by the Earl of Lancaster. But following his persecution for ignoring this law, there hasn't been any armor in Parliament since 1319. And the law remains in place to this day. So Greece has had many historical monuments that have stood the test of time. But the biggest concern to their ongoing stability is tourism. A law to counter this was to ban wearing high heels at any historical monuments. The Odeon, a theater made from stone, was built in 161 AD. Today, it has distinct damage caused by walking. Amongst the damage, they also found 60 pounds of chewing gum between the crevices. So food and drink are also banned, along with pointy shoes. You're flying a kite in the state of Victoria in Australia, a seemingly harmless activity, but don't be surprised if the police suddenly show up. A law was made in 1966, stating that if you flew a kite at the cost of annoying someone nearby, then you can be fine, and trust me, it's a pretty penny. But given the size of Australia, it should be pretty easy to find somewhere to fly a kite without anyone around. In Oklahoma, caring for dogs' well-being is valued highly, so much so that it's illegal to make strange faces toward a dog. You could be fine for doing this act and possibly face some serious punishment. Now, although strange, this one should definitely be made a universal rule. Unless the dog makes a face right back. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.